<laughs> hey, I'm Katie Armiger. Catch my new single, the best song ever, at the Nashville Country Club. According to the song, I'm gonna be alright. Yeah, he said we'd always be together. Such a perfect fairy tale in you. Sure. Um. Well, it was high heels and no expectations, and then um, guitar picks and lipstick, and then confessions of a nice girl and. Yeah, we put them, I, I'm really indecisive, and I just, I couldn't limit it down. I didn't know where to go from there. I was like, you know, I have these three titles, but I don't know which one to choose. Um, and so we, we have a friend at GAC, and he's like, well, let's just have the fans vote. We'll put it on GAC, and I'm really glad that they chose Confessions. Yeah. I think that's that's the best one. Yeah, I think it's very befitting for you, because you're a nice girl, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it's very befitting, and I like that title, too. And you actually had a lot of great songwriters on this album. We just talked with you last year with the Sarah Buxton co-write, and this year you have a lot of writers on the album as well. Can you talk about who wrote with you on this? Sure, well, like you said, I have um, like Sarah Buxton, um, Joe West, Blair Daly, uh, I'm trying to go song by song. Um, yeah, Amanda Flynn, Bruce Wallace, Rebecca Lynn Howard, um, Rachel Proctor, Katrina Elam, um, yeah, just just some really, really good strong writers. Definitely. Definitely. And you actually are climbing the charts with the best song Thank ever. You. Congratulations on that. And it was number one on GAC as well. How did that feel? It, it felt great. I mean, um, I just, I didn't expect it and I didn't expect three weeks at number one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah you have a growing fan base for sure. And that's amazing. That's a good thing to have. It's kind of critical Thank for you. a great career. So congratulations on that. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. They're, they're, they're great. Dedicated. They are. Yeah, definitely. And talk about just becoming, you know, a bigger and bigger artist. What do you think you get better at as you grow and develop? Hmm, what do I get better at? Just everything. I don't really think there's one specific one thing. thing. Yeah. I think, you know, as as your fan base grows, as your music grows, as I grow, I mean, it just, yeah. I do, I actually yeah. grew an inch this year. Oh, okay. um, I mean, just everything grows, yeah, you know, definitely. and um, it's, it's a confidence thing, it's a knowing yourself thing, mm -hmm. it's, it's all of those. Yeah, it's all of those things, right. And you actually were in a lot of high schools this year, and middle schools as well, with your music and different things. You were part of a graduation song, I've heard, too, with your yeah. song, Leave, is it Leaving Home, correct? Yeah. yeah. How did that feel? You're kind of in competition now with vitamin C, I was just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> um, Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's great. It's kind of crazy. I wrote it just for my parents because I was leaving home, and I, I never, I honestly, I didn't make the connection with a, a graduation song. But yeah. we put it up on YouTube, and we started getting responses, um, you know, saying that they were using it as a graduation song, whether they were singing it or their choir was singing it. And um, and 25 that we know schools chose to sing it last year, and then this year um, over 50 schools yeah. have told us that they're going to be using it. And uh, and last year we tried to visit as many of the high schools as we could, and we're going to do the same this year. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's amazing. That's a great thing to do. And you're actually out of high school now, correct? I am. I graduated in U9. Oh nine, class of nine, awesome. <laughs> Got the whole Twilight thing going two on. Twilight songs on my album. Oh wow, yeah. Hey Twilight, they're looking. They're looking for a soundtrack right here. There you go. I know, <laughs> right? Just, just get my album. Team Edward, right? <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's my manager always up. hates when I discuss this. <laughs> no, it should be. If you're basing it on the movie, then definitely Team Edward. If right. you're basing it on like the book or just whether you'd have a vampire or a werewolf, I would totally rather have a werewolf. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a longer lifespan, but they're still human. And, you know, you can still, like, procreate. You yeah. can still do all of those things. Oh, it's very logical. I like that. <laughs> you can still do all of these normal human things, yeah. but yet you're with a mythological creature. Yeah. Therefore, it's a different species, technically. And they're but, warm, and, and they're, they're not cold. True. I'm very, I'm always cold. I'm always freezing, <laughs> and I could not cuddle up to somebody that was 10 degrees. Yeah, well, I think that's good. And Taylor Lautner, he's not a bad-looking kid, so. No, he's not. But he's still not 18, is he? I have no idea who he is. There's still jail bait, probably. I know that I could go to jail for dating him. <laughs> wow. Or you could get away with it, though, because you have that, still that youthful look to you, so don't worry about it. You don't look too young, but you still, you have that nice look Thank going on. You. How old are are you now? Do you mind asking? Oh wow! Yeah. See, close, I'll close be enough. Twenty in three months. 
20 in three months oh, out of the teenager world. It's okay. You can make it. I promise. <laughs> it's good to get older. Well, that's great. We've well, been doing a lot this year, and you've been a part of a lot of magazines. We talked about style last year, and you were part of the Justice. Is, is Justine. Justice? Justine. 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 Sorry, Justice. Yeah. Oh, yeah Justine. Yeah. So how's that, you know, being a front cover person, do you have to get, you know, dolled up and ready? Like, did you go through photo shoots for that? I didn't actually. Um, they used a picture that um, we did for the album photo shoot and we didn't use. Wow. And so um, that was one where I didn't have to go in and take a, a photo thing. So yeah. they actually surprised me. My manager sent in the photo and I didn't know what the cover was going to be. Uh -huh. So I was very anxious would be a good word <laughs> i was very anxious that's about it funny. to see what yeah. what picture was what submitted picture was on there yeah so you didn't know that's pretty, i had no clue interesting yeah that's good stuff right there well did you did you like it in the end i did yeah. i really did good. so i was glad good. that they chose that one. Oh, <laughs> it's hysterical and you have a, you have a lot of fan voted material as well with your stuff you like to interact your fans with you how does that feel to just kind of you know get your fans involved and to hear feedback does that feel good as an artist to see that confirmation yeah it does I mean it feels great I mean the whole thing about country music about any type of music is you can't really do anything if you don't have anybody that supports your music if you don't have fans then you can't yeah, do anything can't do anything right so. yeah yeah, and you actually, your full album is out on iTunes and everywhere, correct? Yes, yes, you can get it everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that probably like the easiest place would just be to go to katiearmager.com because that will yeah. link you to like Facebook, Twitter, iTunes, everything. And it'll show you any like upcoming shows that I have. Okay. Yeah, and upcoming shows this spring, summer, uh, are you going to be out doing some national things yes. again? Okay. I will be out and about everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. Check her out. She was the previous country mall rat. You remember talking about that with her on her bus. And we actually interviewed Tiffany, too, which is kind of ironic. So, awesome. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got both mall rats together. Well, that's great. It's great to see you again. You have a great time the rest of today. And uh, thanks for watching the Nashville Country Club.